Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. The Trump administration implements a ban on private flight to Cuba. Skyborne launch sponsored flight instructor program. And Astronautics Roadrunner EFI receives FAA TSO authorization. I'm Sophie Herlock. If you were planning on flying your private airplane to Cuba, you're going to have to make other travel plans, and you may not be able to go at all. The U.S. Treasury Department on Tuesday unveiled amendments to the Cuban Assets Control Regulations to further implement President Trump's foreign policy on Cuba. Cuba continues to play a destabilizing role in the Western Hemisphere, providing a communist foothold in the region and propping up U.S. adversaries in places like Venezuela and Nicaragua by fomenting instability, undermining the rule of law, and suppressing democratic processes, said Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin. According to Caribbean Travel Adventures, the general license for private and charter aircraft was revoked today. Specific license requests for private and charter aircraft in the future will be denied by the U.S. Commerce Department. However, U.S. commercial airlines can continue their flights, but the types of passengers on those flights will no longer include those traveling for tourism. We'll be right back with Around the Patch. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Today is a new dawn. With a new name. Un nuevo logotipo. A new factor. Und einen globalen Kundenfokus. We are Continental Aerospace Technologies and we stand behind you. Welcome back. Let's take a quick look at some interesting stories coming out of the aviation industry. It's time for today's trip around the patch. Boeing has informed the FAA certain 737NG and 737 MAX leading edge slat tracks and might not meet applicable regulatory requirements for strength and durability. Following an investigation conducted by Boeing and the FAA Certificate Management Office, the FAA determined up to 148 parts manufactured by a Boeing sub-tier supplier are affected. Pilot Proficiency, a pilot training business providing 24-7 simulator access, has received a Frasca RTD simulator and is now open for business in Lyle, Illinois. Pilots can book simulator time by the hour or by monthly subscription plan for affordable recurrency training. Flight Safety International Embraer eJet's E2 training program is now approved by the FAA, EASA, and Brazil's National Civil Aviation Agency. The training will be offered at Flight Safety Le Bourget Learning Center in Paris this summer. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope element successfully completed its last environmental test, thermal vacuum testing, at Northrop Grumman's Corporation in California. The testing exposes Webb's SCE to the extreme hot and cold temperatures it will experience in space. To test this, the chamber uses liquid nitrogen shrouds and heater panels to expose the SCE to cold temperatures as low as negative 300 degrees Fahrenheit and hot temperatures as high as 220 degrees Fahrenheit. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Build and fly with the most exciting line of kit aircraft on the market, the Sonics Aircraft B-Models. 
The B models offer more room and comfort, more fuel, more panel space, more engine choices, and the same great Sonics Aircraft flight characteristics. Learn more at sonicsaircraft.com. Skyborne Airline Academy is launching a sponsored flight instructor program to foster the next generation of airline pilot instructors in Spain. Over a six-week period, participants will complete 35 flying hours and 130 hours of theory training. Those who successfully complete the program will go on to work as single-engine flight instructors with Skyborne. Skyborne will offer a competitive salary and bonus pack, including generous annual leave, pension, bonus scheme, and health insurance. In order to apply, candidates must hold a current first series EASA commercial pilot license, including instrument rating and a class one medical certificate. They must also have a minimum of 80% pass rate on their ATPL theoretical knowledge examination. The deadline for applications is Friday, June 14th. Astronautics has received a TSO for its AFI 4700 Roadrunner electronic flight instrument available for retrofit on helicopters and airplanes. The Roadrunner EFI is a drop in primary flight display replacement for older EFIs or electromechanical instruments and allowing upgrades from existing attitude director and horizontal situational indicator functionality to modern electronic flight instruments supporting enhanced safety features and improved reliability. The new Roadrunner EFI also provides easy integration with modern navigation equipment, enabling capabilities like localizer performance with vertical guidance approaches. The EFI provides operators with readability in all lighting conditions, reduces operating and maintenance costs, and minimal downtime for installation. The EFI is easily upgradable with new software functionality tailored to meet customer needs and mission requirements. And that's our last story of the day, everyone. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe and to check us out on Twitter and on Facebook. And if you're looking for the latest aviation and aerospace news, head over to aero-news.net. I'll see you right back here tomorrow for an episode of AMA Drone Report.